Wagon Sports fans, welcome back to another Schoolboy Football feature. I'm your host, Joe Mar. I'm Rush. And this is This Are That Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting and riveting sports topics, discussions, and debates on the internet. Yes, people. But before we get into today's feature, don't forget to like this one. Leave a comment and subscribe to This Are That Sports TV. And one more thing first, though. Share the video to at least 10 people to ensure to get us 6 subscribers because if each and every one of you guys can manage to do that, you know how many subscribers that get us by the end of the day? Oh, well, I won't leave. Yeah. And you say Manning Cup team feature. You think we need to introduce the school we are there today? But them can't say Academy of Them can't say what I want. Could have been St. Cassie. Or it could have been um, Greater Portmore. Could have been Greater Portmore. Yeah. I yeah. feel like the people know what I want. So you don't see the thumbnail and the title. We're at St. George's College. We're on North Street. S-T-G-C. Yeah, S-T-G-C. yeah, 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 yeah. And St. George's College back with a vengeance. You know, they are, they are running through the first round right now. One of the best teams in the competition at this moment. I want to talk to them. What are you looking forward to, to seeing this feature today? Um, you know, St. George's College, historically, one of his not the best Manning Cup school program that we've ever seen. You know, I'm producing the likes of Marvin Morgan, Nika Chamble, and so on and so forth. You know? on and, on. and right now, possessing the likes of an agent leader and Brian Burkett. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited to see how these players that we've seen over the last Three Two years, years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. in their third year yeah, yeah, yeah. right now, finally in sixth form, mm-hmm. um, how they would have grown and developed to a point now where they are not only the best players in their school, not only leaders in their school, but some of the trailblazers for the Manning Cup, yeah. you know, the poster boys for this season's Manning Cup. Um, I'd like to see how they're incorporating the team and actually what they're up to this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm looking forward to is really the mentality. You know, we've seen, we, this is the third time we're here in three years. I remember in 2021, we came and they were were having struggles, you know, because they weren't able to train because of the restrictions and players, um, parents didn't want them to, you know, the whole COVID situation. So their mentality was a bit different from even the year after that, where they were saying, we're not going last year. We're going to try to bring back the judges' name. 2022. Never quite worked out. And I want to understand what, what's their mentality right now? Where, where's their mind at? You know, are they trying to? Go for it. I think I already know, but I want to hear them say it. I want to speak to a few other players and see what's going on. Um, but that's really what I want to see from this feature. The mentality. Is the STGC mentality back? You know, when I use STGC, I say, yo, oh, we're not caught last year. We're not used to that. So that's what I really want to see. People, what do you want to see from the feature? Put it in the comment section. Straight up. STGC. That is you ready? It. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're here with standout player and captain of St. George's College's Manning Cup team. You're with Adrian Reed. First of all, Bala, um, how are you feeling about this year's Manning Cup personally? Well, I feel very good, with, um, especially with the results so far. You know, we see the team coming together, playing very good football, and we just need to continue that. And the preparation for this season, we know that some years ago, you know, coming out of COVID, you guys had some struggles. Speak about the, about the preparation this year. What has caused you guys to go off to such a rocket start? Yeah, those years definitely played a part, you know. We worked harder, we were more committed, and we definitely have, have that desire to you know, prove ourselves. Are we here with George's standout player and captain this season? Vice captain. Vice captain, Brian Birkin. First of all, not an unfamiliar face this year at Sports TV. Third year doing this feature, third year in the Manning Cup. You're not a kid anymore. How does it feel to be a veteran going into the Manning Cup season? Well, um, it's a good feeling. Yeah, that have matured and grow a lot, so it's your happy season. All right, so last season you guys would have crashed out, you know, in the quarterfinals. That must have been gutting for you guys. Speak to me about how you coped with um, the unfortunate ending of last season's Money Cup. Well, um, we just learn from it, understand the feeling. We got the feeling of losing in a quarterfinal stage. Don't want to um, get that feeling again, so just move forward, improve, and try to grow together as a unit. Are we here with St. George's standout player, mm-hmm. number one goalkeeper Jaden Thompson? Speak to us about the introduction to Manning Cup and St. George's College. Uh, I've been playing for St. George's since 2019, where we won the Pepsi. And this is my second season. Last season, I didn't get as much game time due to my ability. But throughout the preseason, I decided to improve and become better than everybody that was ahead of me. All right. Um, so, you know. It, that must have been an interesting battle for the number one goalkeeper, considering that both of the George's goalkeepers would have been here last season. Speak to us about the camaraderie that you'd have with your goalkeeping team and, and the coach. Um, it's definitely a, 
I would say, good competition between the both of us. Uh, we go head to head every day in training, you know, try to outdo each other no matter what it is. And it was up to the coach, his decision, based on our performance to decide who is the number one right now. All right, and as I said, a rocket start. Four wins from four games. Speak to me about that performance. St. George's College, a dominant team in this year's competition. Are you guys the best team in competition? Well, we would like to think that, you know, but we just try to do the simple things, you know, and it works for us. We're a quality team. If we play our football, you know, I don't think any team can come close to us. Going into the season, right? You spoke about pre-season, you know, you worked hard to, to, to get your position. Mm -hmm. What type of football can we expect from you? And, and give us a player comparison. You know, who, which player would you compare yourself to? Uh, right now, I'm not going to compare myself to anyone. I am at the top. I wouldn't say at the top of my level, but I'm very close to being at the top of my level. And I continue to grow. And as far as it goes to for the season, I plan to just do the right things when necessary and make sure I keep my team on top. Speak to us about how you guys prepare this season. Speak to us about champs. Speak to us about your preseason. Well, the preseason was good. Um, so we executed what we trained, what, they, what we did earlier in the season, preseason, what we trained, and the vibes was good on camp. Chemistry, form a lot of chemistry, and everybody, but it's good. All right, talk to me about yourself. Um, you went away with the national team, you know, some months ago. You know, you are one of the leader, you are the leader of this team. You know, one of the best players in the competition. Um, how does that feel? You know, stepping on the pitch to keep this team in check, knowing that you are one of the best players. How do you approach the competition? Definitely a good feeling, you know. I just have to set an example, you know, be a role model every time I step out and lead the team and try to show them the right things to do. And what are, what are some things that you've learned at the international level that you can take back to this morning cup team? Just the punctuality, you know, um, the aggression, you know, if you want something, you have to get both for it. Right, as a goalkeeper, you know, regardless of, of official titles, you're automatically a leader. Speak right. to us about your role, you know, um, on the field in terms of having the players play the way they're supposed to play or as a leader on the team, you know, being a senior player. Uh, my main job is to just make sure my defence are cohesive and they're working as how I need them to, to limit the shots that come against me because the less shots, the less chances I have at, you know, showing up. And speak to us about George's, like what type of football can we expect from this George's Manning Cup team? Very effective football. All right, so what can we expect from St. George's College? What type of football are we going to see from STGC teams here? Effective football. None more. Not more effective and football. from Brian. And what is that George's football? How can people? What can people expect to see whenever they come to you know Winchester Park to watch George? What type of football do you guys play? Effective football, all the time. The third time you're saying effective football. That's something that they preach here at George's. Okay, do you have any personal goals or expectations for this? Is this your last season or your second to last season? Man? This is my last season. Do you have any personal expectations or goals, aspirations that you want to accomplish this season? Yeah, just want to go with a bang. <laughs> no goals, assists? you see. I've been hearing that word effective a lot. And lastly, do you have any like personal targets, anything that you want to accomplish when it's all said and done in December? Uh, as much clean sheets as possible, and to the best of my ability. All right. And this team, how far can you guys go? How far are you aiming to go when it's all said and done? Definitely aiming to go all the way, all three titles. Yeah, winning all the titles. Uh, win everything. That is it. That is it. As we always do, I always want to go to the finals, but we take it one step at a time. So let's see what happens tomorrow. We have a game against Arden tomorrow, so let's focus on that. And, and one last thing, because we, we do this with every feature. Look in the camera and give the George's faithful some inspiration or some motivation. What is one thing that you tell them? You get the chance right now. Well, just continue, continue to support us and for the greater glory of God. Continue to support us in the way you have been doing. We really appreciate it. Uh, you know, come out, support us. You know, we try to give our best every time and we try to impress you guys all the time. So come out and support us, please. Here we go from Adrian Reed, the man named called Jimmy. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Yes, people, that is it from STGC. Bro, they are a par in high school, same way. And somebody can tell you about who this. Last time we come, we tell them to translate the matter. Mm -hmm. And they did. I don't remember. Forgive me, St. John's got it. Brian um, Burke just said it, bro. You said? Yeah. For the greater good of God or yeah, glory of God. Yeah, Something about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about the glory of God. But who is this? I don't know. Somebody. Who? Give me a best guess. 
Um, St. George. <laughs> yeah, I go to Ardo Park. <laughs> what the hell is St. George? That? I don't know who that is, brother. Not St. George. Huh? But what you know? In St. St. George, I don't know who it is. Um, talk to me about this feature, bro. What 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 happened to the other feature? Familiar faces. You know, the, the majority of people who spoke to us is, is people. You know, people we've spoken to before. Mm-hmm. This is current no faces. stranger to the people. Yeah, these are these are these are manico players at this point. You know, they're seniors and they're they're greased and ready to go, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian Burkett in the senior year wanting to leave with a bang, you know. I think Confident and comfortable. Adrian Reed, I think it's first year six for him. I think he wants to, 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 to make a statement as well recently coming off of, of international representation. And, you know, just speaking to the goalkeeper, apparently there was this big tussle for the number one spot before my goalkeeper being user, you know, and the new guy so confident he's like I play well coach decides to need better than but Yeah was, and that's how it should be man if, if, if you're at a school like St George's College the two keepers should be able to be the number one yeah. first of all and then you, at St George's College you're going to have coaches you're going to have some of the best coaches in, in, yeah. in at the level and these, those coaches are not afraid to make the, the hard decision yeah. so last year we saw a young Bijan who started the competition well made a lot of mistakes towards the tail yeah. of the competition he even cast his teams a few goals yeah. This year is his spot was in the air. If he dominated last year, it wouldn't have been. No, it wouldn't you know, have been. So, so yeah. that's, how, that's how football is, man. And I think and towards, not, towards the end of the season, mm-hmm. he started to start the number one now. He got a few games towards the end of the season. And, not, and I'm not even writing off um, Dijon. Dijon. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe later in the competition, he starts to step up in a training. And whenever he gets his games, he performs. I don't know. I'm just saying that, that, that that's a competition that I like between these boys. But one thing I, I can tell from today, talented bunch. Oh, yeah. Talented bunch of players. and. One of the best squads in the Manning Cup. So just watching them train, watching their they were doing some training today where they got the ball out wide and screwed the ball. Talent. Them has a technical ability. And, and even individual talent. You know, we saw Zabir Taylor, you know, just messing around with the ball, you know, with, with one of his teammates. And his too good, too good, too good people. So one thing you can take from this is that St. George's College is a really good team. Obviously, they have the individuals, the, the big names, the Adrian with the international, you know, the Burkett. Last star player from last year, mm-hmm. but they also have a well rounded squad, and I think a better squad than last year. I'm expecting judges to go very far this year. It should, I should, I want to see judges in the, in the semi finals, and I think they are good enough to make it that yeah. far. You know, um, we didn't get to talk to Neverbell today. I wanted to hear from him. We like, we always like to speak to him and see where his, his, his mind is at, but we never quite get for that today. Hopefully, we can catch up with him another time. You see, people, if you like this feature, obviously, you always like the SPGC features. If you like the feature, maybe even if you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to this side at Sports TV. And one more thing for us, though. Share the video to at least 10 people, but then sure to get to six subscribers. People, sorry. I like the pay mind. It's been a long day. <laughs> Trust me, people, it's been a long day. <laughs> and if each and one, if each and every one of you guys can manage to get us just six subscribers, do you know how many subscribers people don't get by the end of the day? You may have to stand up. You probably come out there, shot. You probably come out there. And then yeah, that's the expression. No, but that's yeah. fine, bro. Yeah. If, 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 if each and every one of you guys can get us six subscribers, let's do the thing, no man. Wally, Wally, Wally. Don't mean a big ass. But what you know now <laughs> from St. George's College, and we are, we are leave. This is St. George's heat. St. George's. People. <laughs> <laughs> we're not taking the school for a mockery, we're not mockery. Just a joke. We got That's a good St. George. Good 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 good